Hey, this is Shiley and you're watching Eat, Breathe Books. Hi everyone. I hope everyone is doing so very well today. I thought I'd come on here and give a little book haul and talk about some of the books that I've purchased recently. I also want to say thank you so much for all the new subscribers here, all the old subscribers here. I'm really glad that people enjoyed my last bookstore vlog and I hope to continue to make fun of book content for all of you. And without further ado, let's talk about some of the books I've acquired recently. The first book I'm going to talk about is one I actually saw on an Instagram ad, I believe, and I haven't heard anyone talk about it yet. And it's called My Epic Spring Breakup by Kristen Rockaway. I really like the cover. I pre-ordered it so far in advance. I'm really excited to read it. It's about a girl who is a senior in high school and it's her spring break. And she's never really had a real romantic interaction with anyone and she's just looking for some love. But while she tries to get closer to her crush, her childhood best friend kind of crops up, maybe has some feelings for her. And so, sensing a little love triangle perhaps, I don't know, but it definitely sounds like a lot of fun. It's a lot shorter than I thought it would be, and I'm hoping to get to it soon. If anyone's read this, please let me know because I'd love to hear some thoughts on it. Okay, this next book I have literally been so excited for for a while, and I just finished it, and I would love to do a review on it or at least talk about it in a wrap-up soon, but it's People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. I love her work, okay? Beach Rain was one of my favorite books of last year, and this one did not disappoint. It's about two best friends who have been in love with each other for like over a decade. This book basically takes you through 10 to 12 years where they're where every year they go on like a break together, like on a summer vacation, and um, it jumps in time like crazy. So it's like you get to see their trip right now this summer, and then it goes back like 12 summers ago, and then this summer, and then 11 summers ago, and so on. You really get to see all the dynamics of the relationship and the ways they change, and the epiphany that the main character has was a very fresh and surprising and exciting one. It wasn't something I've read in a lot of books before, so I really enjoyed it. Obviously, really shipped the couple. Emily Henry excels in a lot of areas. She's really good at witty banter. She's really good at um, crafting very unique characters that also feel real, and she's really good at establishing setting. Like, if she explains where we are, I'm there. I see it, I visualize it right away, and everything she describes is so intricate and beautiful and realistic, and I just, like, love it so much. So, I know this isn't a wrap-up, but anyway, I did buy this, so I talked about it. Chasing Lucky by Jen Bennett. I've read, I think, two of her books so far, Alex Approximately and Serious Moonlight, and I'm really excited for this one. This one's about a girl and her mom who've been on the run for a while. I believe her mom's a photographer? No, the main character is a photographer, and she and her mom return to their hometown to run a family bookstore, which already sounds really good, and then the main character runs into the town bad boy and some things stir up. Jen Bennett is really good at writing romance and also writing really unique characters, so I'm definitely excited to dive in. The next book that I'm going to talk about that I picked up is The Wedding Party by Jasmine Gilroy. I'm really excited to read this. I think it's the first in a companion series. Yeah, it is. And this is about a girl and a guy who don't know each other and they meet in an elevator and the girl agrees to be this guy's plus one to a wedding. I think his ex like just dumped him so he needs a plus one and obviously they're gonna fall in love and really excited to read this. I'm starting to read more like new adult, I know that's not a real genre, but new adult kind of books like people in their 20s and 30s but obviously still reading a lot of young adult because I love that genre and always will and yeah really excited for this. One that I also really loved, Fat Chance Charlie Vega by Crystal Maldonado. This is about a girl who is really just looking for love. She has a crush at school on this guy who's crushing on her best friend so there's a lot of like tea there. Then another guy who's in love with her and she deals with a lot of like problems at home with her mom because her mom used to be overweight as well so there's a lot of like tension there. Her mom trying to get her to like change herself and her wanting to love herself the way she is and there's just so much like just, just such cute romance in here and just really great commentary on being a fat person. I really enjoy this. I also love like the family aspect of it. Like there's a party where she goes and hangs out with her cousins that was really fun to read about. Um, but yeah, this is another book that I recently got. The book is Of Kisses and Croissants by Anne-Sophie Jeannot. I'm really sorry if I butchered her last name. This is a book about a girl who's an aspiring ballerina and she goes to Paris to study at a top school there and she ends up having to be roommates with a girl she kind of sees as her like arch nemesis, frenemy, rival sort of thing. Obviously there's also romance in this. I haven't read it yet but I am very excited because I love books that are set in other countries. I really liked Anne of the French Kiss which was also set in Paris so I'm really excited to read this one and of course I love the cover. Speaking of books set in other countries, I also picked up A Cuban Girl's Guide to Tea and Tomorrow by Laura Taylor Namey. Love this so much but again this is not a wrap up. This is actually a Reese's YA book club pick. Um, I would say that Reese Witherspoon and her team have 
really great taste in books, honestly, so this did not disappoint. And this is about a girl who's Cuban, she lives in Miami, and she's an aspiring pastry chef, and her parents send her away for the summer because she's gone through three different types of heartbreak and is just having a hard time, so they sent her to live with her cousins in London with uh, her cousin, her aunt, and her uncle, yeah. And while she's there, she works at their like little bed and breakfast and like brings what she knows about making pastries and learns more from like the London type of pastry making and obviously falls in love and makes a great group of friends and really discovers a lot of things about herself. So, so heartwarming, it was so beautiful. You guys gotta pick this up. But anyway, this is a haul, not a wrap up, but still. <laughs> this next book, I'm a little more than halfway through. It's The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. A lot of people like her, I uh, actually can't remember the name of the series, but she writes kind of these like thrillery, romancy type of stories usually, I believe. This one's kind of like Knives Out. It's basically about this girl in high school who um, acquires like 46 billion dollars, I think, and like a huge estate. And she can keep all the money on one condition. She has to live in the estate for a year with um, the family of the person who gave her the money. Now, the weird thing is she doesn't know this man. She doesn't know why she got this money. She doesn't understand her connection to it. So she and a couple of the uh, family members decide to like band together and kind of like figure out what this is all about um, but of course she gets caught up in like romantic entanglements and her life starts being in danger and yeah a lot of people really like this one um I, like I said I'm still working my way through it but it's definitely thrilling the next book is another travel book and this one's set in Britain England specifically and it's called Hot British Boyfriend by Christy Boyce this is about a girl who gets publicly rejected by her crush and decides to flee and go on her high school uh, study abroad trip in England and she falls in love there really excited to read it i really like the cover next we have take me home tonight by morgan mountain this is her newest novel i've read a couple of hers before and i've really enjoyed them this is about two girls who have no phones and they get lost in new york city which uh sounds like a lot of fun kind of scary but fun just to read about you know i think it takes place in one night or one day pomeranians are featured in it morgan mountain often includes dogs in her stories which is just always fun to read about I'm not sure if there's any romance in here but it does sound like a great friendship story so i'm looking forward and last but not least something very exciting happen. I recently met Justin Baldoni again. I went to Barnes & Noble at the Grove and he did this little like impromptu book signing for his nonfiction book Man Enough which is about him. He used to call it redefining mascul masculinity but now he's calling it undefining masculinity. I did hear him speak about upon this topic when he was calling it redefining masculinity a couple years ago so I'm excited to see like, which one of those things he still believes in, what he's kind of changed, just his perspective on this. Going with it and in with it with an open mind. I'm definitely really happy that Justin uses this platform to speak on things that are really important and tries to influence people for the better. And it was really nice to talk to him. He also signed my book and I promise he signed it, hold on. <laughs> and he wrote, Shiley, you are enough and then signed it with a heart. And he was just so sweet and kind. And when I thanked him for using his platform for good, he like seemed so appreciative and he was like, I'm trying. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching. Thank you for everyone who subscribed, who liked this video, who commented. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this and if there are any books on this list that you're planning on getting or have gotten or have enjoyed or anything of the sort, I definitely love to hear about it. Anyway, I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.